Hi everybody, happy Thursday. Today I have a fun Halloween book to share with you. This book is No Such Thing. It's written by Ella Bailey and it's published by Flying Eye Books. And we wanna thank them for allowing us to share this book with you today. So let's find out what this book is all about. See these end pages? Can you make out what is on them? Looks like it looks like leaves, doesn't it? Hmm. Keep that in mind. <laughs> no such thing. Oh, before I turn the page, what do you see in the window? One cool day in late October, Georgia noticed something weird. Do you see anything weird in these pictures? Things were moving around the house and sometimes even disappeared. Now, some might blame the time of year, well known for being spooky, but not our clever Georgia here, whose life was getting kooky. So do you think see things in these pictures? Her snacks, a doll, what else? What else disappeared here? Hmm. Let's look at the picture. Uh-oh, she lost some pencils. Do you know why that would be? When snacks were stolen from the fridge, this savvy sleuth guessed too. Uh-oh, she's blaming the dog. But do you see what the dog is doing? What's the dog chasing? Poor doggy. And when a china vase was smashed, she knew who'd done that too. Who got blamed in these pictures? She blamed the cat. You know, we blame the cat and dog around here a lot too. And she figured out who stole her socks and left her none to wear and knew who'd swiped her colored pens. The telltale signs were there. So let's see, now it's the mice and her brother. Anyone out there like to blame your brother for things? I used to do that to my brother all the time. She guessed who'd snatched her sweater as it hung outside to dry and also spied the pumpkin thief who'd hidden way up high. Now, can you see here she blamed the bird, but what do you see on the line? When the house was full of cobwebs from the bookcase to the door, the culprit wasn't hard to find creeping across the floor. Do you think it was the spider? Do you think it was the spider? With one look out the window, Georgia saw who took her broom, but thankfully she found a spare to match her witch costume. And what do you see on these pages? Do you see anything here? What's hiding in the plant? Even spooky shapes and noises that she noticed late at night could quickly be explained away as simple tricks of light. There were thieves and mischief makers. These thieves and mischief makers were all fantasies at most, for if there's one thing we all know, there's no such thing as ghosts. But what do you see peeking? What do you see peeking on those pages? Happy Halloween. Do you see all those ghosts? Did you see the ghosts as I was pointing them out on the pages? 
I think you should come in and check out this book. There are hidden ghosts on every single one of these pages and you can find them all. And did you remember what we saw in the beginning? We saw leaves. Now what's on the end pages? It's ghosts. The end. Let me know what you think about this story on our Instagram page and come in and check out this book at the library. I will be back next week with some brand new stories and I can't wait to share with you. I have a brand new Bruce book to share. I'll see everybody back here. Have a great weekend and bye for now.